Good huh? evening. Can't see you at all. Well, why don't you turn on the light switch? Can't see you at all. Look at all this Who, crazy did stuff. I, did you not pay the bill? Look at all this crazy stuff. What in hell is going on? Is my wall smelling? Scary. What the hell have you kids been up to? Creeping in my house. Get on my walls. Oh my. Hmm. Well, um. That looks like your mama's meatloaf in the oven. <laughs> what? Your mama's what? meatloaf in the oven? Funny you mention that because our game for today will be about that. Sort of. It'll sort of be about that. Meatloaf oven? Yeah. Oven really can't oven. see you. <laughs> okay, let's uh, see if we can get some light yeah, in here. Get some lights in there. Wouldn't that be nice? Oh no, you finally show up. Look at that. Isn't that hot? Isn't that, isn't that, <laughs> isn't that hot? Look at that. There's some Where am crazy I? shit going on. Am I on in here. heaven? <laughs> I see you. I see you. My goodness. Alright. Well. I wanted to read. We there we get some light on. Good guy. Hmm. What you doing in here, sneaking in here, turning off the Oh no, but you're looking really hot and sexy right now in this red light. You're in a red light. I don't know if you know that, Mr. And you have a building behind you that's crashing. <laughs> <laughs> you have a building that's crashing. Okay. It's like my penis at my old age. What do you mean? What do you mean? <laughs> no. Hmm. You're not old. Yeah, You're not there. old. We're getting there. Yeah. I, I have this. Speaking Scary. of getting old. Have you mm -hmm. heard about this thing? I got Mm-hmm. People do it on Saturday. Items of interest, poems, and propaganda. What does it have to do with being I old? always read always re as many times as I said, I always look at it and still read it. I don't know. I like the... The novelty oh, of I it? I like the novelty of it, yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. That or I'm just slightly retarded. You're not ADHD. retarded. Yeah, maybe we both are. There's another the building for you. Like, right around in... Probably right around in here. That's hot. Really hot. How have you been? I've been really good. It's been a wild week. Really, really wild. They, they all wild now. Mm -hmm. you can't, it, mine was a little bit more chill. Just on my end. Yeah. But like I said, as the days go on closer to the end of the week, that fucking plane just hits smashes right to the fucking ground by Friday, but mm -hmm. it wasn't too bad. Yeah. Wasn't too bad. That's good. Very, very good. Then I'd go to work and be pushing cars out of ditches. And, You're pushing and cars out of, out of dishes and, and, and... Yeah. But that's that's the thrill of it all. You never know. Every morning you wake up like, what the fuck is going <laughs> to happen today? I'm saving lives and giving people readings on their dick sizes. I'm just kidding. Really? <laughs> no. I was, uh, I was reading Kilgore no. Trout's uh, dick size Oh my god. And, and the I love that book. He knows everybody's measurements No, that book is great. Oh my god. Kilgore Trout is my favorite. I think the longest one in He's the world is 16 inches and 7 inches What? Or some shit. What? <laughs> No, 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 on a, what, on know. a person? Or like three inches wide, yeah. What? So, That's scary. That's really scary. Whoa. I've never heard of that. That's amazing. That's really scary. Yeah. People get pretty wild, you know. They get pretty wild. You know, it's just, um... It kind of reminds me of the, you know, the Black Flag album that I have on vinyl, and it has the ruler, and it says who has the ten and a half or something. And I think they put Kira as the one who has the ten and a half. She's not a guy, which makes it funny. So they just, yeah. 
and dick I'm sizes. Just, and then I've been playing Tony. the numbers again, trying to get that extra mod. Mm -hmm. Uh oh. But uh -oh. I, I bring the ticket into the lady. <laughs> yeah, you don't have a uh, image anymore. You don't have an image anymore. Oh no. You don't have an image. Wait, wait a second. Wait, wait, wait. You know which one it is. Set. There we go. What happened? <laughs> Burnings, demolitions. We're trying. We are really trying to get this going. Put it down. Burn it down. Just put it. Don't <laughs> burn it down. I said put it down. <laughs> burn it down. <laughs> you were so enthusiastic was, about that. He said burn it down. He said burn it down. I got, I got, I got old pleasure. That's, that's going to be. Balls, I keep yeah. locked up. But every now and then when I hear somebody, I say something. That's going to be um our next <laughs> phrase is burn it down. That's about we just don't so ever get say it. Out it. Of here. Don't, if I get ever it hear out. anybody scream, let's burn it down, I instantly get excited. And, and what's to give the man credit, the one whom we always quote all the time, he, he's precious. We watch him on Kill Tony. William Montgomery, <laughs> when he said, get it out of here, <laughs> get it the fuck out of here. I'll here. never forget you that. Bitch. Remember when he told Janice, like he said, he said he was fooling around with Janice. It was Brian Redband's girlfriend, and he said, and Janice rushed up there to like to to shush him, and he said, Janice, get the fuck out of my face. Remember that? I guess we just I love scratch it. that fucking story off the list now that I can't even finish it. You can't finish it. Now, nah, well, no, nah. it's all fucked. Okay. I'll tell you about the lady now. It's all. Oh. Ruin. Really? It's okay. Yeah, hey, the fucking Let's bitch. Just burn it down. The meth head bitch behind a goddamn counter. You know, she scans the fucking ticket. I know what I'm gonna lose. Yeah. And, and she just turns around and calls me a loser. Oh, man. And I'm just like, you fucking What the bitch. hell? And you're so messed up. The only reason I fucking lost on those numbers is because it was 627 and you repeated it and said, ooh, 627, and you sing it and you put in 623. Oh. Three is a fucking long way from seven now, isn't Yeah, it, it is. Gosh. What the hell? But, and I didn't say nothing. Mm-mm. For your retarded bitch ass. No. But, you know, I got class. Did I ruin the story? No. Mr. I just told the story anyway. Okay. It was a little bit shorter, but... But did I originally ruin it? No. Oh, okay. I was confused. I wasn't sure. Wow, wow there's a lot of stuff. <laughs> a Russian, Edward Selvin, 51, from Northwest Russia, March 2016 through March 2017, killed three friends, boiled the remains, then ate that shit. Fucking jailed for life. He was just hmm. sitting up in his house eating on fucking friends. Eating friends. Eating friends. That's how you know you love. Gosh. You know, that's that is incredible to me to study that form of psychology in a person. To feel I mean, can you imagine just the 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 torment, the madness you have to be going through? To get to that point where you just start eating people around you, and you're not even really starving. It's not like you're out in the desert well, we don't and you've know. got. He might right, have been starving. Maybe. Or do you think some people probably have that appetite built in them to want to eat human flesh? Do you think that could be a genetic thing? I mean, 
It's interesting to study. I saw the picture of him. It's really if I would have been, if I would have seen him out there in that little sea of people, mm -hmm. I'd be like, I'm gonna stay away from that guy. Yeah. He looks a little crazy. <laughs> you know, he's just like that guy's crazy. I can, I, I, you know, when I looked at his face, he looks like somebody would be sitting in his house eating on people. Mm -hmm. He had that look about him. I would not go to like that's when I used to go to people's houses on mm -hmm. delivery. That's why it was so scary to me because when I, I I hate going to people's houses and I see some of them, I'm like, I got, I'm, I'm gonna keep my back to the wall. <laughs> you know, like. What the fuck is wrong with these people? Yeah, what is wrong with them? What is wrong with them? laying around and they're just fucking crazy. It's scary. Shit. Wild ass shit. It's so scary. Hate it. Wow. Wow. It's really, really scary. What? Do you have anything? I'm going to be honest with you. Oh, shit. I could have had more, but I decided, and I do, actually, it's just all jumbled up over there. Nothing's organized, as always. I do have the game. I do have the game, but before we get to that, I do have a very peculiar question. Do you think, do you think maybe, you know how we have those stars in our eyes? You know how, you have them right now, little stars. Yeah. Okay. You know how some of us have more than like two, like more than that? Isn't that weird? Don't you think the stars are a little weird? Stars? Yeah, the stars in your eyes. You have them. You have them. Nobody can see them, but I can. <laughs> right now. What stars? Yeah, you have stars in your eyes. What if those were portals? Like, what if those were other... Did you ever stop and think about that? What if they're just a reflection? Yeah, it's a reflection. But what is then... Okay, then study a reflection. I don't know. I just had a very profound thought about this, but it's not going anywhere right now with you. Maybe you should work on that a little bit. What do you mean? Oh. Work on it a little bit. Uh, write it down and keep rewriting it or something. Uh, no, I already knew where I was going with it, but it's... We're done. Oh, we're done here. Shit. They look like portals, though. Did you ever stop and think about that? No, no. Hmm. Maybe Honey, that's your problem. Those aren't work shoes. Those are dress shoes. I didn't say we could move on. Oh yeah, everyone knows your mouth is your major hmm. income. Wow. Very, <laughs> very, very odd. Um, yeah. Back to the portals. So, do you think maybe? The thing, the idea you had about putting a mirror in front of another mirror and you see a what? Remember you used to do this? Remember you used what to do I that? Used to do what? You put a mirror in front of another mirror? Yeah, and I'm just What do you see? It. Okay. So and then. It goes into a little black hole. Yeah, so those little reflections that you call in your eye. Maybe if you paid a little more attention to that, it could be the same thing you're talking about. Or if you look closer, you might see what's standing behind you. Yeah. He's standing behind you. Yeah, you can see the reflection. And the yeah. boogeyman was behind you. Like, oh, shit. You, know, you should be saying, oh shit, you have exploding buildings <laughs> behind you and demolished buildings. That's cool. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And the thing was, oh yeah, everyone knows your mouth is your major source of income. That's because she's sucking dick. Yes, I didn't know if you got the joke. <laughs> I, I already got that's it. That's something I actually said to a lady I got just yesterday. Joke. Yeah, I just wasn't <laughs> because really Because I was involved. minding my own business. Yeah. And, and I'm always working, by the way. And second of all, these are shoe boots. Because I wanted something that would last longer than tennis shoes. So, you know, they, they got grip and everything. So, yes. They were made to work, yes. This is what I wrote. <laughs> if the eyes are the windows to the soul, then maybe those stars mark a shift into a higher state of consciousness. It's just an idea I had. 
Yeah. Oh, that's nice. It's interesting. It is. I don't I didn't say it wasn't. Okay. Yeah, I know, but you are such a smarty ass. As Eli said, your idea of being nice is being a douchebag. <laughs> and that's sad. No. <laughs> It's not and like it's always a, like a douchebag guy with a sweet wife. It's always no, one of those. I'm not a fucking douchebag. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You I know. Him, you're you're sweet. Drive me crazy. He no, the same shit no, no, no. Fucking, well, so, that's why listen I to me. Listen to what I'm saying. We talk shit to each other like know. that all the time. But well, it's like, so do some you. Some days you get caught off guard. You're like, I know. What? Well, we do too. But, but I can't. I can't take. Remember this. Second. Remember what I said in a video not very long ago, a few videos back. I said, you're probably the most innocent person I've ever met. Don't forget that. You are not a douchebag. I'm just teasing. I know. It's just funny as yeah. shit. It's like <laughs> between the two of you. I love it. Him I know. I, I do too. It's hilarious. Would fuck you up. <laughs> I would fuck you up so bad. <laughs> I love it. Oh, shit. This is vicious. Oh, my. You want to... You want to hear about the baloney? Hmm? You want to hear about the leaks? What leaks? Okay, so you didn't get to that part in the book yet? <laughs> okay. Baloney. I don't think I got to any leaks yet. Okay. So. So. This dude, right? Mm -hmm. I didn't even get his name. I was sore for details. Okay. I didn't know where you went for a second. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I thought I was just like I thought I, sorry, I thought man. what if she's still sleeping and this was all in my head. <laughs> That's when it's time to go take a vacation at the yeah. Patrick Bay. This is interesting. <laughs> Police seized 194 pounds of Mexican bologna. Bologna, whatever you want to say, call it. He was fined 500 bucks. Okay. That's 22 rolls in the back of a Nissan Rogue. Baloney can't be brought over because it's pork. Do you mm -hmm. know why you can't bring pork across the border? I imagine there are several reasons. Um, what, I mean, caused, I... what caused this virus in the first place? Well, Oh, well, because if you yeah. pork a uh, trend, you could transist foreign uh, viruses and bacteria yeah. to another country, and it would. It says it, you know, I was it's mostly of for the an the animals. Bacteria. But as we can see now, also it would cause deadly viruses. I was thinking of bacteria, and animals, and humans. Right. There's because many reasons. It's from that side of the street. And it's pork. Yeah, pork I mean, pork, pork is, is already a filthy... Yeah. Oh, but it's so good. Yeah, I, it's I, an unclean I like animal. Pork chops. That's and bologna. I love yeah. bologna. I would have I bought one of them rolls off of him for the, you know, half. You know? Yeah, it's, it's an unclean animal. <laughs> yeah, I like animal. bologna. I just don't have it all the time. Shit, let me fry some up. Let me, let me know. No, That's wild. No you get a bottle behind you. Look at Oh. oh, got it! That is so cool. That actually looks really cool. Yeah, fun. This has been a fun you episode. You want to play the game? Yeah, sure. If, if if you want to, I really don't want to rush through this episode. We're enjoying, I but know, I it's um. Hey, because, I downed it. I sat yeah. down and I, I I fucking put two pages. I'm just down saying. I had crazy shit. So. I had more here. Um, I got it, man. You know, and I was, and I did bring up that idea. That was a genuine idea, that the the concept you had about placing the mirror in front of another mirror, creating another dimension. What if those reflections that you have in your eye are another sign of that? It's another form of that. That if you see that when because you've got those glassy right? eyes, they usually are crazy. Yeah, but you <laughs> right. Anyway. So like when you look in the mirror and you eyes, see those he's got stars in them. Yeah, right. He's got stars in his eyes. I wonder if that's say. a s similar concept. But you are kind of looking into a dimension, right? When you look in a mirror, you're looking into another kind of. I just, I just, I see, I just see a douchebag staring back at me. I just see a douchebag. <laughs> no, 
cute. I just see this big old douchebag. No, you're looking a at cute me going, baby. You're gonna have a great day. I no. Can tell. Oh, you're sweet. Okay, let's do the game. What the hell is that? Oh, that's a fire. Oh, hey. I like that. That's really, it's really hot. Uh, we're okay, game. we're gonna get to the. I'm sorry, I'm fixated. It's distracting, in a good way. Well, so this yeah, is yeah, called. I'm in um, it and I'm staying. Close. Okay, we're I'm doing it. it. <laughs> <laughs> we're doing it. Gosh. So you um. Let's see. If this is the right page. You have to flip it over. I think. Oh, the wrong page. You are a parasite, and you're currently crawling through, are you listening? Mm -hmm. A mm -hmm. vagina which resembles a hallway. Which is the first door you open, and what do you find in there? So this is titled the, the Path to Rebirth. Okay. You know how it goes. Pick a number between one, one and four. Two. Every moment of heartache you have ever endured overwhelms you in this room. So that's the very first. Damn, that's got to be intense to be the first door you go through. I've been in rooms like that. Because you're going to go through all those rooms. All four. But the first one is the one I asked you. Which one do you pick first? Um. So then for this one... The next door down the hallway, do you go right or left? Left. Okay. So, pick a number between one and four. Three. So this, in this room, do you want me to give it away right away of who you're picking? Just tell me what's in the room. Okay. I, I bust ten. So. I bust ten. Huh? So you went with three? Yeah. Now this guy seems violent. He's waving a gun around and you get excited. Let's go. <laughs> so you pick this guy. Uh, you pick him. Okay. That's your guy. So then, <laughs> the door near the end of the hallway, do you go right or left? Left. Okay. Now pick a number between one and four. Four. Now, this woman is intriguing and suicidal. She has to be the most fascinating and troubled intellectual of all the women you see in this room, and you only have eyes for her. So you picked her. You picked a guy and you picked a woman. And your final thoughts upon reaching the very last door at the end of the hallway, these are your final thoughts. Pick a number between one and four. Two. Wow! What happens next? Tell me! Somebody, tell me! I have to know! So apparently, you were overly enthusiastic. What happened there is you picked a father and a mother. He came, and those were your last thoughts. <laughs> Upon entering. Yeah. One hell of a month <laughs> and then you had all these other options that you could have went through, but I don't know if you want me to we can do whatever relate them. Do. We're here. Interesting. We're queer. Your other potential options, which was, it was intriguing what you picked. Um, starting from the top. The first door you could oh, have... Like a vagina. The, for, the first door <laughs> you could have picked... Um, if you didn't pick number two, if you picked one, all the embarrassing moments in your life play out right before your very eyes. Mm, that'd be terrible. Yeah, and then three. It'd probably be pretty funny. Yeah, yeah. This is the room of vices. Your addictions come back to haunt you in all of your fetishes. And four, this is a room of utter bliss. You relive your moments of love, success, and triumph there. So you could have chose that, but you decided to choose heartache. Yeah. So, there we go. and you called that right away too. Now, the door, the next door you could have chose. Um, 
if you didn't decide to pick three. One, behind this door, you find 12 men who seem familiar, but you instantly like the guy with the black hat. Interesting. And two, in this room, you're pretty sure the guy seated all to his lonesome in tattered clothing was your brother, but okay. So you basically could have chose your brother to be your father. <laughs> your surviving brother to be your father. That's fucked up. That would not work out. Well. No, and then four. This has to be the most lazy man you've ever met, but he's a great cook. And there's nothing you want more than food. So you could have chosen the lazy father. None of those sound like me at all. No. And the mother, um, the next door near the end of the hallway, um, who you could have chose if you didn't pick the suicidal intellectual, um, one, you are not entirely sure if this woman is a prostitute or not, but you don't care. You're entranced. And two, she's sweet, she's snuggly, and she's hiding from the world, but you're gonna get her. <laughs> and three, this woman is a prude bitch, but you like a good challenge, so you're gonna make this work. Come hell or high water. And your last thoughts. You want to know what your last thoughts could have been? Okay. One. It's about time he came. You were exceedingly impatient. Um. Three. Hmm. Well, that was just a little unnecessary. You were none too pleased. Not pleased with it. And four. Now wait just a minute here. Can we go back? Can we redo this, please? You got confused. Your father came and you got confused. You weren't sure. You wanted to go back. And that's it. That is it. But as you know, folks, you can't go back. You can't. You can't go back. You can't have it all. You, you know? can't redo it. You can't always get what you want. No, you just... You just but can't. you try sometimes. Then you might find. <laughs> you'll get what you need. In the butt. <laughs> in the butt. Yeah, in the butt. And that old brown eye. What happened? I don't know. I'm trying to get the explosions. Why, why you do the that? Again. I don't know. I don't, well, I'll figure out why it does that, I guess. Okay. I don't know what it can Yeah, be. I don't know. I don't know. I'll figure it out. I think I'm Did you know the study shows Android uh, cell phone users compared to iPhone users have better relationships? And I was reading this article and I said, hmm, I'll just throw what? it in there for, you know, the items of interest. So why do you think that? And is? the propaganda and what bit? What well, the is? bit is, um, I, I, I scroll down and I'm. I'm skipping through the bullshit because it's it's just going to lead up to they're going to show you the statistics. I want to see what science this was, mm -hmm. and they show you a big old you know chart and percentages. Yeah. Okay. And they just have like questions they ask and the answers of both. Percent. Basically, it's everything I already knew, and I just read this whole chart doing <laughs> math and shit, and I got pissed off. I said, well, I could have told you that shit. Yeah. Like, eat, like using phone at the dinner table. Oh, you know, the regular shit I, you can observe. But Android users, I know, as far as relationship, we're not really committed. Because mm -hmm. if you got an iPhone, you're committed to the Internet on your phone. Yeah. Like, it's like... Sure. You're, you're, you can't... You know, that's all the information you was to go to Android, you couldn't use the same shit. You're committed. You're paying fucking big money, but Android, you're just like, ah, I don't know. I'll look at it, like, you know, you're not really fucking with it. Mm -mm. Like, you'll peek at the internet every now and then if you're taking a shit, but that's about it. Mm -hmm. Send a message here or there. Yeah. Shit, I only got three contacts on my fucking phone. Right, yeah. My mother, you, and my boy, you know? Mm hmm and that's it. Oh, yeah. I, I know. I mean, I have to say, on average, I have about 
the three people I talk to the most. Yeah, I mean, other than you. I'll talk to you on lunchtime, but other than that, it's three people. I mean, I talk to my sister, I talk to John, yeah, I talk to Daniel, you know. Says I got three contacts. Yeah, but, you know, a lot of people, honestly, they, they're they just, um, they're fleeting. And then when they do talk to you, they're just starting some shit. They're just ready to start some shit. They're just looking for something. They're, you know what I mean? Whatever it is, so, I don't know. There's not too many people I talk to. Nah. Well, you know, yeah. I, I just... I don't like know. I said, I don't have really time. I'm at, like... Yeah. Like, I remember starting to job, like, wanting to hire people and then one day. Like, me and some other guys, just like, all right, I want you to go out there and talk to your friends if they need a job and bring them down here and and talk to me and bring them to me and... Him a job, and I was just sat there. Sta I was standing there, staring at him. Yeah. And when I got through talking, I said, "But I don't have any friends." Mm -hmm. And they all laughed at me, and I looked at him, and like, you know, I was like, "What the fuck, you the kid?" Beside me, like, I looked at him, said, "What the fuck, are you laughing at?" Yeah, you bitch. I said, "I said, I said, I'm like fucking." I think at the time I was like 36 years old. Mm -hmm. And I was like, 36 years old. What the fuck am I gonna do? Go? He said, "It makes a person." What the fuck is a 36? I said, "That's creepy." Yeah, I'm gonna go out to the mall and try to make some friends. Said, what the fuck? You should have done that. No, I don't need any friends. Years ago, yeah, you should have done that. <laughs> like, like, what am I, a fucking creep? Yeah. Yeah, what the, who the fuck? I said, friends, you don't go make friends at this age. They just, they happen because you just surround a motherfucker. And eventually, you, they, you know, you become friends with you. Spend, this is whoever the fuck you spend a lot of time with, and that's not many people because they bother me. Yeah, I know. <laughs> they yeah. bother me. A lot of people bother Not me all too. of them, but the guy that doesn't bother you or the girl that doesn't bother you. Yeah. Hey, you're a friend. Yeah. They so you know, it's just... I mean... You're polite, but some people just don't bother you, so... Mm -hmm. That's what makes a friend. Right. <laughs> Somebody you can be around. Right? I mean, and the one person I have to commend, and I'll say it, to my grave... Or if I get burned. Because you already know how I feel about the grave. It just burn me. Point is, the person I have to commend is John, really. This man, mister, I have tortured him for five fucking years. I, if I could take you through the level of insanity I put this man through. And he's still there. You know, he is... Do you know he has never complained about me? He's never complained about us. Never complained about you. Never complained about me. I commend him. And it's rare to find somebody like that. It's just rare. It really is. You know? Like I said, between you and him, you're good. You're, you're, you're solid. And it's good. Well, thank you for that reassurance. Yeah, I really... Yeah. I believe that. I took a really chill week this week, you know. Mm hmm I really did. I, I have it. I, I did. I actually did. I think I got fucked up one night and was writing some shit. I don't know. Mm hmm Yeah. But it, yeah, I just sit around the house. So how do you feel about this, uh, <laughs> this, <laughs> this episode so far? Are you really uncomfortable with... With what's going on, or are no, you happy? No, I have, but I do have. Are you? I actually do have <laughs> okay. a poem. For this, this shit episode. is tripping me out. I, I don't... actually, I actually do have a poem for this one. I love it. Okay. We're not ending or anything. I'm just saying, I, I did. Right yeah, well, now. honey, we should probably end this. We're almost at thirty-five minutes. Hey. hey. Yeah. I said I got a poem. Okay. No, I'm not rushing you. No. I'm sick of the pink bunny on my batteries. I'm tired of burgers from fast food joints. They suck. Reminds me of dog food. Fuck your safety bullshit. You're all using it as an excuse to be lazy. I'm sick of running into people that know me but want to catch up. Keep up. Call, do something. I'm busy. Fuck toilets that flush themselves. I wasn't done, first of all. Second of all, I'm hungover. It's 7 a.m. I almost had a heart attack. I wipe standing up sometimes.
Very, very profound. And very profound. What is happening behind you? What do we have here? What in the hell is happening? That is a that is a chopping machine. That's mm -hmm. what I said. Like a vagina earlier. Yeah. That thing will eat anything. I love those. I I, I wish I could have one of those. It will yeah. it will eat anything you put on. Scary. They just put all kind of weird shit in there. Yeah. Look like some potato chips. You know what won't eat everything you put in it? Oh, they put a diamond on it. It won't eat a diamond. Yeah. It would just sit there and dance on it. I ain't eating nothing. I ain't eating nothing. Hell no. No, no vacancies, right? No vacancies. No vacancies. Stay the fuck out. Get out. Get, fuck out of here. Get out of here. I don't want your VD. Get out. Hit the lights. Hit, hit the lights. Wait a minute, wait. Yes, come closer. <laughs> come right up this way. trying not to laugh because I just saw a jar of Nutella <laughs> get eaten. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Were you going back to your Charles Manson days yeah. for a second? What the fuck? What is going on? Oh my god. <laughs> what? That's Scary. Alright, tune in next week. Tune in next week, bitches.